What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're at the treehouse to clean out the capsule. It's the last volume of the marathon session that Ryan and I have been on today. So Ryan, why don't you come on in take one final look at some products here that we're going to be trying out. We've got Act 2 Llama Party Cotton Candy Popcorn Pop-Tarts Frosted Apple Tastic Crisps and pretzel flips mix. So, uh, yeah, some pretty good looking stuff on tap, I guess, uh, because I haven't yet made the popcorn, we'll save that for last. <laughs> and the least labor intensive of our products here today is the Pop-Tarts Apple Tastic Crisps. So these come in two packs. These are Pop-Tarts that are not designed for your toaster. We've talked about Pop-Tarts crisps here before and really enjoyed them. It's almost like a crackery kind of texture. You get a good amount of uh, kind of cream on it. I can smell the apple cinnamon flavor wafting my direction. Uh, it seems pretty apple-tastic. $2.79 at Meyer in Louisville, Kentucky. It's got some filling. So it looks like an apple cinnamon filling. You can definitely smell it very, very clearly. Uh, it looks great. Good balance of the outer kind of harder shell, the frosting on the inside and the frosting on the outside. Mm. Pretty good. Really good. It's a perfect stand-in for like a Nutri-Grain bar or something. I'd say it's an elevated say. version of that. It's very similar in your mouth in terms of its taste. It's a little bit chewier of a texture, a little bit crumblier of a texture, but very similar in its results. <laughs> and you get two instead of one. Instead of one kind of fat one, you get a couple of skinny ones. I like that. So. Oh, there's like a little bit of a crisp crunch. There is a crispiness to it, which is really nice. It it really doesn't taste that much like a Pop-Tart. Like, it's all the same ingredients, so you would think it would, but it's, it's different. It's definitely, if you like Pop-Tarts, that doesn't disqualify you from liking these. But if you don't like Pop-Tarts, I'd even try it. It's more like a cereal bar than it's like a Pop-Tart. That brings us to our pretzel flips mix. Now this is the milk chocolate variety that combines generic M&Ms, kettle corn, of course the chocolate dip pretzels, and regular non-chocolate dip pretzels. Here's what it looks like out of the bag. These were $3.99 at the Speedway convenience store in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, Ryan, when you grab, try to make sure you grab some M&Ms because they kind of fell to the bottom there. Or not some M&Ms, what do they call it? Candy coated milk chocolate. Just gonna try to oh, grab a little of each. Here. I know, exactly. Really, I just wanna eat these baby little pretzel flips. Oh yeah, that's a superstar right there. The kettle corn is not good. It's that kind of chewy, it just kind of mashes and then sticks in your teeth and that's it. There's no airiness to it, there's no butteriness to it, there's no sweetness to it. It's just a waste of space. The regular pretzels really suck. It gives you a new appreciation for how delicious the chocolate that they drape on top of it is. Because you'd assume they're the same style of pretzels. And the M&M's or the candy coated milk chocolate tastes exactly like an M&M. Turns out there's really no trade secret there. <laughs> Look, $3.99, it's a bit stiff. Um, not recommended at that price, but you know, needed the bag, so it is what it is. And that brings us to the Act 2 Llama Party Cotton Candy Popcorn. Now, I've been looking for this stuff since July, so a lot of you may have already had access to it. And of all places, I did find it at a Kroger, which is my most commonly visited grocery store, but I had to find it in Cookville, Tennessee, so... That's not a commonly visited grocery store for me. Pretty cool box though. Oh, yeah. That llama is also a unicorn. I don't understand. What? You're it's got a unicorn horn. What the So, heck? I mean, that just just bonus points for me. Wow. Uh, $2.99 at that Kroger. 
Smells smells like cotton candy. Mm. They went the blue route. Sometimes cotton candy's pink, sometimes it's blue. They went blue. I would have expected pink maybe, but I don't know. Are, is blue any more likely to be llama than pink? I, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's equa cotton candy. It is. Well, first off, you get a ton. This giant platter is from one little bag of popcorn from this. I mean, that's like a family's worth of popcorn, and you get six of them for $3. How's the bag? Is it I mean, pretty? Bag is, is just basically a paper bag that says llama party. It doesn't even have a llama on it, so. That's kind of cool, I guess. Could have done better. Yeah. But, look. You get a little bit of cotton candy taste, but it's mostly popcorn taste, which if you're buying popcorn, it's probably to your liking. Definitely not a very strong flavor, though. I, I honestly forgot that it was just a hint. cotton candy. It's yeah. a little sweet. Yeah. It's almost like a kettle corn, sort yeah, of. Yeah, definitely. Without the added kettle corn texture, it's like a kettle corn. For some reason, it's got those kernels that really are getting caught in the back of my throat much more than a typical popcorn would. I don't know if that's just because I've been talking all day or whatever, but I didn't have that problem with smart food. <laughs> so that is a little annoying, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's okay. I just hope that you're more in love with popcorn than you are with cotton candy. So I'm going to open up with the capsule countdown here today. I do think Flips Mix has to come in third. I mean, it was just a very weak it product in general. The only thing that I really thought was, was a exceptionally good element of it were the pretzel flips. They already make those, last I checked, <laughs> at fl pretzel flips. So uh, everything else really averaged it down. Uh, the kettle corn was not good. The regular pretzels were trash, which was actually a bit surprising to me because I figure they know pretzels. The M&Ms actually, I guess if there's there's a silver lining, is that generic M&Ms, regular M&Ms, they taste exactly the same. Uh, look, it's not offensive, but at $3.99, it's easy to get a little offended. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10, third place on today's capsule countdown. Second place is gonna go to the Act Two Llama Party. Look, it's just, it's not a lot of added flavor. Like you really like to, you really need to like just a regular plain popcorn. It's not buttery. It's a little sweet. It's not salty. I don't know if you're supposed to add your own salt and butter to microwave popcorn all of a sudden, but every other microwave popcorn I've ever had has been offensive to my, all of my senses with so much butter and so much salt. This could have benefited from a little bit from those categories. I. Uh, you know, but I mean, look, add your own salt and butter if that's your thing. Um, I guess a five and a half out of 10 seems about right in yeah. second place on today's Capsule Countdown. But first place, pretty obvious on this one. It's going to be the Pop-Tarts Crisp Frosted Apple-tastic. Um, they're pretty apple-tastic. They weren't lying. Uh, one of the most easily accessible snacks. I think a great version of a cereal bar. Um, just different enough from a Pop-Tart to really warrant its inclusion in the line. Uh, I give it an eight and a half out of 10, first place on today's Capsule Countdown and a high recommendation to go out and buy it. But we're gonna talk about something since it's clearing out the capsule that really isn't necessarily relevant to any of this stuff. From 1990, it's the Shark Bites Fruit Snacks. Wow. Now, this one is extra special. It's the Fruit Punch variety. These are the ones that uh, were my preference growing up, but it had the great white shark pieces. Ryan, you remember Ooh, these? The, the white fruit snacks? Yeah, you really, you really can't Let's beat take that. A look at that. On the back, listen to this quote. You've got to eat them before they eat you. Beautiful. You can't beat that. So this was just a General Mills product. I think that they went under the Fruit Corner's name, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fruit Corners, but it was General Mills. These were just outstanding. They were a fixture of my lunch, and I'm sure many of y'all's who are kind of in our general, like, mid to late 30s age group, um, these were the best fruit snacks uh, at that time. Eventually, I preferred So Delicious, maybe a little bit more, but these lasted a bit longer. They had the regular assorted fruit, and then they had the Fruit Punch varieties. 
This is one uh, I'm very, very glad to have in my collection because it features that great white shark. And that was the money piece. Mm -hmm. You usually only got one piece a pack. You know, they weren't super well distributed, but they were definitely the best of that bunch. Uh, now, in terms of what our next review holds for us, we don't know. But it's coming, and we're very excited about it. So stay tuned on Monday, and we'll all find out together what Ryan and I eat next. But, of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you.